Maljeet, how are you guys doing? Hello, Maljeet. Sasi Karaji, like. I'm sitting here, chonkri marke. Chonkri marke. You know what? There's nothing like sitting cross-legged. What word? Chonkri mar. That is sick, isn't it, bro? Chonkri mar, bro. It sounds so harsh, doesn't it? Everything in Punjabi is harsh. You yeah. can say the sweetest thing, and in Punjabi, it sounds like you're angry and swearing at someone. What's that the sweetest thing that you can say in Punjabi? The sweetest uh, line. The sweetest thing? Yeah. Right. I love you very much. You don't understand that I love you so much. You don't understand that you don't understand that you don't But see, it sounds like I'm angry. But also, I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. Sorry. Rishi, we want one from you as well now. No, I don't. My thing is nakare. That's it, man. I keep it. <laughs> um, I, I like, I can't, I, when it comes to Punjabi and stuff like that, Jay's Punjabi, even I think sometimes tops Juggies as well, like the way he speaks. Just his, his animation in it. Yeah. Is that, yeah. is that a tiki Punjabi, right? Yeah. yeah hardcore, isn't it? That's it. Okay. All right. So. I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for taking the time to speak to me today. I know this is like such a crazy time for you both right now, um, which we'll get into later on. Um, but Jay, you're in like New York and Rishi, you're in Mumbai, right? I'm in the Gurdwara. Yeah. You're in the Gurdwara, <laughs> Chonky Market, that's it. Mm-hmm. But you haven't got a Ramal on. It's one of those forward thinking ones. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. Actually, that's last one. Sorry. Um, um, yeah, no, we're both in different time zones. Like, we just someone just mentioned that like, you're in UK, so you're five hours behind, it's kind of, and you know, five hours ahead of New York, five hours behind Mumbai, so you're in the middle. So yeah, it's, um, I'm in New York. It's been so crazy, like, like even just putting this whole campaign and record together within these time zones. You know, like I've had to stay up late, or Jay's had to get up early so we can talk and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's all good. You know what? It's going to be all worth it because we are looking forward to this, especially with everything that's been going on, like during COVID, lockdown. Like here in the UK, we're kind of in and out of it. There's so many restrictions in place and then they go away, then they come back. And I feel like this track, it was like the perfect time to release it because we need Thank it. You. We really need it. It'll keep us going. Um, and it's been a long time coming as well. Like there's so many people, so many fans that we've been wanting this. People are going crazy on socials, especially like us 90s kids. Oh my god, I feel really old when I say that, like I'm a 90s right. kid, you know, no. but we grew, we grew up with the whole Rishi Rich product, so tell me about your new track, like it hasn't been released, but what can we expect? Rish? Um, so the new track, I mean, it's, uh, it's something which has been in, in the works for a little while. Jay actually flew down to Mumbai last year and in this, in this room. And it was just, you know, a case of, firstly, we wanted to catch out. We've been talking about, after Freak, we've been saying, we, you know, we want to work together and do more music together. And it's because we live in different countries and everything like that and schedules. But it was a case of, like, Jay was like, I'm going to make some time out, come to Mumbai, work on some music. And we really didn't set about um, saying, okay, you know what, we're going to go into the studio and produce, like, you know, like this kind of song. We're just like, let's just catch up. And that's the one thing about Jay and myself is, like, we it's all about that vibe. I think the first day he came, we did some work at an idea he had. Then we went out, you know, we went out uh, around Mumbai where I live. There's some great spots you can go. And then we came back here around two, two in the morning and Jay was like, I want to play some, you know, some Bollywood because he loves 90s. I mean, so do I, I think. So does everyone really, you know, the, the Ashikis and, you know, and Bazigur and stuff. So when Bazigur came on and this song came on, you know, with Tere Cherepe, when, when that hook came on, we all looked at each other because Kirini was here as well. And we were just like, okay. Jay was like, this is it, you know, sample this. And I think obviously we've been out, we were on this hype. And we were just like, sample this. And I was like, okay, cool. So I literally put it in, you know, sampling, start putting the beats down. Jay was recording melodies. You know, next minute we knew it was morning. You know, we got some sleep and then we went to get some food. We came back and we finished it. And then in the next few months, we, you know, we tweaked it lyrically. And we just said, we've got to put this out. And I think it was a case of, you know, with myself, with the label kind of being birthed in lockdown as well. You know, you know the, the whole, and I was like, Jay, you know, Jay's got his own label. I've got my own label. I said, let's just come together and put this out, you know. And, and it, like you said, it's been great for the fans. And, 
you know, and uh, it's been such a beautiful journey so far. And it feels like the track has already come out and it's been out for a little while, but, you know, um, it's nice to see that people's reaction is just, is, is exactly what we feel when we're making that song. You know, that kind of making people smile, that good vibes. Incredible. And like Jay, you're singing in Punjabi on this track right for the first time. It's nothing like the Punjabi I was just talking, just so you know. It was yeah. actually proper Punjabi. Mickey um, Punjabi, right? Yes. Um, you know what it was, right? So <clears throat> when when Rish and I work on songs, even if it's for even when it's like something like Freak, um, quite often because I love Hindi and Punjabi melodies. I love singing them and I love making them up and coming up with them. So sometimes I'll, what I will do, I'll just sing nonsense lyrics over it, right? So it's just a that's all I'm doing, but I'm getting the melody. And then I guess I was just doing that and Rish was like, that is a vibe. And I was like, yeah, well, all right. But he's like, no, nah, that melody is sick. So we should put some lyrics to it. And so obviously it had to be a Punjabi section. Mm -hmm. So Kirani actually is the one who uh, helped me out with a lot with the lyrics on that one. And she, um, and we just sort of wrote the lyrics out and I sang it and Rish was like, bro, you've never done this before. You've never sung in Punjabi on record. I do it live, you know, when Juggy's not there, I'll sing all his bits at my concerts. But on a, on a, on a record, I'd never done that. So this is the first time and I loved it. How were you feeling like during the time? Because like even everything that you've released before, you've never released a Punjabi record. So did you ever like hesitate or like, oh, like, am I going to get this right? Or not really, like because, uh, not really, because honestly, growing up, I spoke Punjabi in my house with my daddy and baba for all those years. Now, look, obviously we speak a little bit, you know, Pukti Pukti Punjabi is a little bit. Sometimes I'll put a Hindi word in there without realizing and mom will be like, no, that's Hindi. And I'm like, oh, all right, but kind of sound the same. So things like that, I had to make sure with, um, you know, even like with Juggy, I'll check with him. Am I saying the right way and singing it the right way? Because singing it and speaking it is very different as well. Right? Yeah. So, so yeah. it was just a vibe and I loved it. And yeah, I enjoyed it. I hope my fans enjoy it. No, I'm sure we will. Honestly, we're so excited. So like your teaser that you've released... It is literally quite the teaser because you're not really giving too much away, but there's a picture of Gargel on there. So I was thinking, mm, is there like a bit of a Bollywood vibe going on? I mean, can you, can you give us a little? So I guess, I don't know, Jay, I mean, you can give a little bit away. Being in lockdown, um, the easy option is to not do a video and just go, sorry, we're in lockdown. You know, how can I shoot a video? But we tried to find our way around that and and the way that we managed to do it was because the song itself is like a nod to eyes on you because there's a lyric in the song which said um i've always had my eyes always had my eyes on you and so it's kind of like a part two and people will be like oh eyes on you and then of course the video for eyes on you was so iconic because i was walking down the streets of south or singing to the camera no one had a clue what's going on behind me um I love also, Rich, how we just did that with no permission slips, like nothing. Just everyone's yeah. in the background, everyone's in our music video, whatever. The it's store like, owners like, are like, free. Because like, let's, 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 my studio is very close to Southall, so it's kind of like, let's just go Southall and get some food. And yeah. oh, let's, we should yeah. have a video whilst we're here. It was like yeah. Super Rogue style. And that's what I did over here in Edison, New Jersey. It's like the little India of Jersey, right? So same thing. We had just, I'm walking down the streets, there's matey boys with masks on going, what's he doing? And a couple of people, because it was actually filmed on a holiday here. Um, a lot of the stock shops weren't open. So there weren't as many people on the streets. But then I was like, okay, what do we do to make it more interesting? So Rishi actually came up with the idea that, because he'd done, he'd used an animator for one of his other songs that he'd released on Break the Noise. And so um, he was like, what if we animate? It. What if you go from real world and get sucked into like a cartoon animated world? And I was like, yes, that's the vibe. So that's all I'm going to say um, about that. And so that's, that's where the kind of animation part will make sense. Once you watch it, you will get it. Every scene of the animation, a true Bollywood fan is going to know exactly what's going on. So would you say there's like a bit of a connection then? So 
from back in the day with eyes on you to Nekere yeah. right now, there's like a there's a bit of a link going on. Yeah, for sure. A lot of fans are already calling it like Eyes on You Part Two because they've kind of just a little bit of footage leaked from the music video, and so they kind of understood what I was doing. Okay, no, that's cool. So again, I'm just gonna take it back to your singing in Punjabi. Mm. What was your favourite line? Or your favourite word in the song, yeah. Um, I like Akhmanu Mardia. That's the kind of cheeky oh, one. Like, okay. Yeah. It's cheeky. It is. Yeah, it it, no. <laughs> yeah. So this track, so, okay, let's take it back a little bit more. So obviously Dance With You was huge. It reached like number 12 on the UK singles chart in 2003. Rishi, you brought this whole like R&B, Punjabi fusion like to the scene. Do you think that there's room for that now? And if there is, is this track a little bit like that? Or is it pure like Punjabi? Like, um, I think there's always been room for it. You know, before, even before me, I think it was a case of Apache Indian did that. You know, he, he brought Punjabi lyrics and reggae. Um, and we just put our spin into it because we love hip hop and R&B. And Juggy was obviously bringing that Punjabi flavor you know, and that was my taste of music was R&B, hip hop, Punjabi music, Hindi music. And I think it's, I think this track, we haven't set out to do anything with it. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's really actually also for the fans. Um, it's something that, um, you know, we, I think at this point in our career, you know, both of us are, we just about vibes, you know, like if it feels good, if it feels right, don't overthink it. Um, you know, we have people in our team who do the overthinking. But right. I think with us, it's like, you know, this song was made in one, one night after night out. It sounds good. We want to put it out. We don't know how and when, but that's what we want to do. You right. know? So we didn't, we didn't think that even the fact that when I did say to Jay, I think you should sing Punjabi, kind of thought about it. And he was like, okay, cool. And that was it. It wasn't, there right. was no discussion. Right. There was no like, you know what, let me think about it. It was like, it feels right. You know, everything feels, it, that, and that's the thing about, especially for me. And I think Jay as well, like, if, when you're making music, music is that, that expression that comes from, from your heart. If, and it's, you've got to go with what you feel, you know? And I think um, if you start overthinking things and thinking about, um, I, we've never been like that. You know, we faced that when, when we did Eyes, when we did Dance With You, we were told by, you know, mainstream stations that you've got to add a tabla in it and you've got to add a sitar and stuff like that to make it more cool. And we're like, no, this is the vibe, you know? And I think it's, it's a case of this is, this is our sound. Like this is our sound, really. You know, with a with a with a with an addition of Jay singing in Punjabi. It's just there's no other way me and Jay can make music when we're in the studio together. It's very happy. It's very positive. And even with Juggy, when we've done music, whether it's your Medi Johns and you know uh, Dance with You, obviously, and you know the stuff we did on Juggy's album and Freak and stuff like that. So I think we've always just tried to stay in our lane, keep our head down. Don't get involved in nothing that's going on around us. No ego, no politics. You know, us, the three of us have come from a very humble background because our parents have taught us that. And the minute we even try and step out of line, I think our parents will be the first thing people to say to us, what, what are you doing? You know, and I think with the current state of music, and I was saying this to a friend of mine, like, I see there's a lot of people with a lot of anger and I understand that. Um, and I get that as well, because music is a, is, is a form of expression. Um, but we're just here to make people smile, man. You know, when you hear this record and when you see the video, I guarantee you, you're, you're going to, after you watch it, you're going to be smiling, you know. And a time like this with what, what's going on around the world, you need music like this. And I think that's why for me, I love, I love reggaeton. I love, Port, you know, what, what comes out of Puerto Rico and because all reggaeton music is happy. It's very, very, it makes a good feeling, you know. And I think our style is very much like that, but we just put everything in one one mix and just put it out there you know no that's it no i completely get what you're coming from so like has releasing music then so like dance with you eyes on you bill mirror and now soon to release nakari like has there been a difference in terms of like the way you've been feeling about it the way like the process has gone and again i mean we're right now we're in a very I don't want to say strange. I have to say strange. It's so overused. Strange time. So, like, how's that been? 
I think, you know, what is really different about the music that we put out then versus now is that, and I'm just being straight up honest, <clears throat> and I want my fans to sort of really hear this. When, you, when we put out music 10 plus years ago, there wasn't streaming. So you lived with a song a lot longer. We played it over and over again. We had it on a CD, we had it whatever. And you really lived with that song and you ingested that song and it became a part of your DNA. It became a part of that experience, that part of your life. And I think now, because obviously music is a lot more, A, it, there's so much more music out there in the world, right? There's so, there's so much music that people obviously can hop around wherever they want. So we can put out a song and they'll hear it and literally the next day they'll be like, that was sick, man. What's next? And I'm like, you just got it yesterday. <laughs> so I think what's really, for us, what's really important is for, well, for me at least, I want this song to have a chance to still be a part of your journey the same way our songs did in the past. Let it live with you, you know, let it get fully absorbed into your blood. And so that when 10 years down the line, this will be a special memory to you. When you hear Nakare, you will remember where you were, what you were doing. And I think that's really what it is for me. I like to live with music. And I hope that my fans do too. I hope that they really, you know, that they really fully enjoy this. No, I think, you know, when I think when I heard this, like Rishi Rich, Jay Sean coming together again, again, it just takes you back to that time when you when you did all your previous tracks. Mm -hmm. And again, it's just, you have that, like, it keeps the momentum going, like, yes, we're going to get this again, like, and it, and it takes you back 100%. Um, yeah. So, and I think anything you put together, you're going to smash it. And I'm not just saying that, like, no. because I'm speaking to you right now, like, genuinely you are. Um, and there's just been so much excitement online as well. Um, but I know I keep saying this. Thank I, you. I can't no, wait. This, I actually yeah. can't wait. No, this song is a banger, man. It's a bona fide banger. I'm not just saying that. It really, like, Rish and I know. We just know when it is. Like, we have done other songs together. And I'm not saying those songs won't come out. But we were also very aware of the fact that, well, the world hasn't heard our collab for a while. So let's really lead with an absolute, undeniable, out of here smash. And it really is that. And I, I you know, I'm not, not to sound egotistical in any way, but this is what we do. We created this. Rish and I created this from day one. So when it comes to doing it again, we both know we're just like, we feel it that same feeling that we had with our Mary Johns and with our <clears throat> Dance With Yous and, and Stolen, we know when it's right. And it's just, and we know when we're wrong too. We know when it's just kind of, hit, it's missed the mark. You know, the inner risk. We know when it's just not quite there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, 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 it's one of those things where, because we started out together working on, on something which, years later we we can look back and say this will be embedded in mm -hmm. the song songs of the british asian culture you right. know like dance with you is it is a it's something that will always be talked about right. um like other songs not just by us but like other songs you know you've had some amazing songs but we've been a part of that and you know we might have worked on like 10 15 20 songs together but we know that you've got your eyes on you your dil meras right. your holding on your dance reviews your stolen you know, the stuff we've done together, which will always be um, remembered and looked upon, which is something after even when we're not around, like, you know, like kids, Jay's kids and people like that will say, you know, we we did something for it. Like, I'm such a proud British Asian in right. the sense where I know that we literally went, we stamped it, you know, we stamped. So to do it again, it wasn't something that we had to really feel nervous about. I think we right. just had to make music yeah. again because we don't know any different. Like when yeah. we come in the studio.
like I said, we don't overthink stuff, you know. Um, and I think a lot of artists do go through that overthinking stage. And that's why you probably see a lot of gap between people's music because, you know, overthinking can really kind of stare an artist here and there. But I think with myself, I've always had the same sound. You know, I've never moved away. I've never been shy to say, look, I will always put my culture in it. Mm -hmm. And I've, you know, and that's something where, you know, I've aspired to be people, like a producer. And I think I've kind of got to that stage where, when, you know, like a Timberland or Pharrell or Dre, you know, when you hear my music, you know, it's me. Right. When you hear Jay's vo vocal, you know, it's a Jay Sean, you know, and when you hear us together, you know that this is right. some sort of the Rishi Rich project, you know? You know what's um, really, yeah, what's really beautiful, Rish, um, and I know it means a lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to you, Rishi, is some of these incredible, I mean, there's so many amazing artists now, you know, like Guru Rindaba, for example, is obviously, you know, a great friend of mine. Um, we had a smash with Surma Surma. But let me tell you what I love about him the most is his personality. He is such a humble guy, such a sweet person who's so successful. And, and we've been a part of his journey. So when he says things to us like, Baji, you know, your songs, they mean so much to me and you and Rishi and Juggy Baji, you're all a part of my journey. Do you know, that is everything to know that there are artists now who are killing it, who we have had a part in their life and their musical upbringing is really a beautiful thing, you know, and even Badsha I was talking to him the other day and, you know, when he says about how he's listening to my, to the fast rap and, and dance with you. And that was what for him, was the first time he'd ever really heard what was rapping, you know? And, and I think that to us as, as um, to me and Rish, I think it really, that, that's why we do this. If you can have an impact on someone like that in a positive way, it's a really beautiful thing. Yeah, you know the other thing as well, like you, you lot touch so many people like with your creativity, with your talent. And a lot of the time you don't know because it's not like you can communicate with all your fans like across the world, like every single one of them. So like, you know, just, just like have a, have a moment to think about that as well. So, yeah. but mentioning dance with you rap, Jay, can you still do it? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Let's do it. Tell me what I've told you, but thinking about other possible lyrical ways to come and approach you. Have me never to think about anything other than wanted to reach ya. I ain't trying to speak ya. I ain't gonna use any lyrics to impress ya. A gentleman from the start, I get you a drink at the bar, thinking everything you're gonna laugh, tell me you wanna head to the car. If it's all right with you, then it's all right with me. So get your coke, kiss the night you're leaving with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So effortless. So, so effortless. So, I need to ask you. We've had this collaboration with you two. Are there more? Will the Rishi Rich project reunion happen? Like, Juggy, Veronica, yeah. like, I mean, I had to ask the question and I'm sure many people are waiting. Yeah, I definitely, I mean, you know, like Jay was saying, and you know, we, we've been working on music together. We've, we've done some songs with Juggy as well. You know, Juggy wanted to kind of do a single. We had this idea, we've got a great track that, um, we've collectively done with Juggy and for him, you know, we've given him this sound. So that's sitting with him. So I'm, you know, we're just waiting for Juggy to, I think he wanted to wait for this and then he should be ready with his, I know that he's got some great music plans. And I think for the three of us, it's, uh, you, you, you can never put any, you know, we don't like to put pressure on it because I, one, we have to be in the same room. We cannot do it remotely, you know, and to get all of us, especially now in this situation, to get all three of us in the same room together, you know, um, we have to wait for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think there's going to be a bigger gap than, than there was, you know, before Freak. But um, we're just excited. Like like we said, you know, we've, we've got music ready and um, individually we're doing our thing. And it's great that we all, we all three of us are in different parts of the world. But when we come together, it's just like we met in, in Perivale, you know, in, yeah. in my studio. It's, it's got the same, we have that same energy. If not, it's, it's more crazy. We've gone more crazier, you know? So um, we are, we're completely mental when we're three of us are together. It's, uh, it's, it, it's, yeah, it's you're like, we should be filmed, really, you know? Um, so, <laughs> we yeah, can make not, that happen. Yeah. yeah. No. So I, I, think, I think it's a case of, uh, you know, I, I love the fact that when we do come together, it, 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 you can just sense 
the feeling, you know, from what you read, from what people are saying, that it, it is the right thing to do, you know. And I love the fact that when we come together, we do our thing, then we kind of do our own thing, we're respectively in different countries and different industries, then we come together and we have this thing. And I think we'll always do that until one of us stop making music, you know. Mm. Which I pray never happens. <laughs> Listen, we're going to be Buddha soon, all right? If we're not Buddha already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you haven't got any grays, Nat. It's all right. It's cool. You know, yeah. um, if there's one thing, and again, I'm, it's questions to both of you. If there is one thing that you want people to take away from Nukere, what is it? What is it? Um, okay, so like I said, I think really happiness. Um, it sounds so cliche and it sounds so obvious, but why else do we make music? Like why, I think about it all the time. I'm like, what, what, what do I do this for? If it doesn't positively impact somebody's life, and it doesn't mean you always have to make some songs, right? Maybe you just want to cry to them, but it's still helping you. It's still allowing you to release an emotion and feel something. And for me, I make music because I want to be a part of somebody's journey and somebody's life in a, in a, in a, in a positive way. Um, whether it's uh, a fan or whether it's an upcoming artist. So really, you know, it's hard right now. Life is weird, life is hard. And, and I just want people, even, even if it's for a day, even if it's just for tomorrow, to smile, to enjoy, and to feel some good vibes. Amazing. And Rishi, the same to you as well. Yeah, like... um, yeah I think the same, you know. I, I, I think um, just, just, take, just good vibes, man. You know, just positive, good vibes. You know, I've, I've always, you know, as much as being as part of this, I love being part of this industry. And um, I just feel that... Um, you know, with the music that we make, it's just very positive. It's just very positive, you know, like, and it should show people that there's like us working together. There's, there's, you know, when people work together, you get, you, you instantly get something so different, you know, and I hope it encourages people and, you know, groups that maybe haven't worked together for so long or artists that have fallen out. Like we've never fallen out. We've always been, three friends that have worked together in music and gone and done our own thing and gone and done amazing things, you know, and when we come together and I hope it shows people that, that, you know, these guys, when they come together, you can just feel the positive vibe, you know, and, you know, a lot of my friends um, in the industry, I've, you know, I know that want to work with their old producers, you know, or the artists that they love working with, just, just do it. You know, this is, this is a time where you've got nothing to lose now, you know, you've got them, Make like what Jay said, make music because you feel it from here and let it kind of bring happiness to, you know, to people out there. So that's it, man. Just take away that. Just take away those good vibes. And also, I just want to add one thing. Um, you know, what's really amazing with the time that's passed. There's some people who were 16, 17 when they were into first heard dance with you. Rishi, those kids who came to uh in-store signings and were screaming and while we were performing i saw the video footage of that the other day from our dvd and it made me smile so much because i thought you know what's mad they might they're probably married with kids now mm. so when they listen to nakre it will remind them of when life was so different and they were just free and they were just young and youthful and feel that just feel that you know yeah. that. I was eight years old. Look at that, see? When I listened to Dance With You, and even to this day, like, it sticks with me. Like, even to this day, I was eight. I mean, oh my gosh, that's sad. <laughs> that's amazing. I love that, though. Look at it. It's crazy, though, isn't it? Okay, shall I, shall I get a little bit into, into this conversation a little bit more now? Okay, this is, like, interview over now. Okay. I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna say this to you, Jay. I had the biggest crush on you when I was younger, right? <laughs> I had like pictures printed out, laminated, and wow. stuck. I mean, lamination. I mean, come on, that's that's taking it to the next level. That's amazing. <laughs> stuck on my wall, and it was my uncle. So my chacha came, and he went to the bathroom. He had to walk past my bedroom to get to the bathroom. I think he must have just sort of had a little sneak peek. He was like. 
who is this guy stuck all over her walls? He got a bright orange highlighter and put X's through every single one of them. No! I went into my room and I was like, oh my God. I was like, mom, <laughs> someone scribbled over Jay's face. Like, what? And she's like, yeah, it was just Jaff ja thinking, you know, who is a little girl with pictures of this Asian guy all over her bedroom? That is so cute. But you see, Honestly, stories like that are everything. That's everything. It's, you see, because you now have such a, a vivid memory of that. No matter how old you are, you can, when, even when you're a nunny or a duddy, you're going to think back to, oh, I remember when I was a little girl, there was this guy called Jay Sean. And, and it's just beautiful to be a part of people's journey like that. It's so fun. Well, there we go. I've told you now. A little did I think a few years later, well, not a few years later, a good yeah. few years later, I'll be speaking to you and telling you this story. Isn't that amazing? Um, before amazing. I let you go as well, I have to, I have to do this. So uh, <laughs> one of my friends, Priyanka, she said to me, I've got the message here on my phone. She said, um, can you say this to, ask this to Jay Sean. So in Jay Sean versus Jay Sean, you mm -hmm. already addressed the obstacles and conspiracies around your career. But when you told your mummy and daddy, I want to sit and be a pop star, did they really say, sit back down? Sit back down. <laughs> no, they didn't actually. They were, I do a lot of things like that just for a laugh and tell stories just for a laugh. But the truth is they were actually very supportive. And the truth is I wouldn't have been able to do this happily if it wasn't for their support and love. And that's, I think the same for you and it, Rish. If your mum didn't fully back you, yeah, everything you did, of course, I think you know, that support is important, yeah. Yeah. All right, okay, I'll wrap it up there then, guys. But thank oh. you so much for speaking to me. It has been an absolute pleasure. Oh. I can't wait for this new track tomorrow. Thank um, you. We're going to be smashing it out on Brit Asia. Yes. Um, you know, like, we've got, we've got so much love for you. Like, we'll support anything and everything that you do here. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. I look forward to future collaborations and next time yeah. hopefully we can get you here in the studio once all yeah. pandemic, lockdown, it's all, it's all clear um, and we'll get you here and yeah, it'd be amazing. Oh. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Jazz. You take care, darling. Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.